Hey everyone, I'm Rodev, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own teleport GUI that will allow players to be teleported to other games when they click the yes button. So, as an example, I've created this UI right here, and basically it's going to pop up on the player screen and they can click on yes or no depending on if they want to teleport. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create your GUI. So to create this, what I've done is gone to starter GUI, and I've created a screen GUI inside and named it teleport GUI and inside this screen GUI I've created a frame and inside this frame I've created quite a few things so let's start from the top this is a UI corner it allows the UI to be shaped as a uh, you know a rounded corner on the edge this right here is a UI stroke this is what creates that white outline there and this right here is a text button it's for the no button right here and as you can see the background color 3 has been set to red and it also has a UI corner and UI stroke inside. The yes button also has a UI corner and UI stroke inside, however its background color 3 is green. And the text property down here is set to yes, unlike the no button which is set to no. And after that, down here is the description. This is the description and it says are you sure you want to teleport? And uh, below that we have the title. The title basically just says teleport and it tells the reader what the UI is about. So now that I'm done the UI, I'm gonna go ahead and untick the visible property so it's invisible for now. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is going to service script service, clicking plus, and clicking on the script. This script is gonna be named teleport script. And the next thing we need to do is go to our workspace and create an invisible part. For this, I'm just gonna be inserting a part setting its anchored property to ticked or true, setting the can collide property off, and I'm going to be setting the transparency to 1. From there, what I'm going to be doing is going to the part that we've just made invisible, clicking plus, and creating a proximity prompt. And the properties for this prompt are going to be set like this. The action text is going to say teleport. The object text won't be set because there isn't really an object that this proximity prompt is attached to and the hold duration is going to be about 0.5 seconds and the keyboard activation code will be E and for gamepads or Xbox, you know, uh, yeah, just Xbox controllers it's going to be the X button. Now what we can do is go to our script and open it up. So once you open it up, the first thing you can do is go ahead and type local PPS equals game colon get service proximity prompt service. This service allows us to read the proximity prompts. The next thing we're going to be doing is pps dot prompt triggered colon connect function and inside these two brackets we're going to be typing prompt comma player and then we're going to go to the end and drop down a bit it should create an end with a bracket on it automatically from there you want to go to the middle line and then from there what we want to do is type if prompt dot name equals equals and you want to make sure it matches the name of the teleport prompt the best way to ensure this goes smoothly is go ahead go to the name property copy it and paste it in here and then from there what we're, uh, what we're going to be typing is a then space else return and just like this it's one line and basically if the prompt that was triggered is not the teleport prompt then we're going to stop the script from running then i'm just going to move it over to the top so it's out of the way drop down a bit more and now we can type the code for the teleport UI to pop up on the player's screen. For this, what we need to do is type player dot and then the name of the screen GUI, player dot teleport, or before that we need to type player GUI, then we can type teleport GUI, and then in there we can do the frame. So dot frame dot visible equals true. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and close the script off. The next thing we're going to be doing is going to our starter GUI, opening up our UI, and going over to the no button. Inside this no button, go ahead and create a local script. This script will be used to close the UI when the player clicks no. From here, what we can do is go ahead and type local button equals script.parent, local frame equals script.parent.parent. Remember, two parents for the frame, but one parent for the button. And then what we can do is type button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then drop down a little bit and then in here what we can do is frame dot visible equals false very simple script 
it's just going to set the frame visibility to false, basically unticking it and making it invisible. So now, we need to type the main code for the teleportation, and for that what we're going to be doing is creating another local script inside the yes button over here. And this local script will be the script that actually teleports the player. So inside this local script, go ahead and copy the code from the other local script, just so we have something to get started with. Go ahead and delete the line for the frame. And also go ahead and delete this line with the frame.visible equals false. Now what we're going to be doing is teleporting the player. So we need to get a teleport service. So local ts for teleport service equals game colon get service teleport service. With teleport service, what we can do is teleport our player, but we're actually going to be needing a player variable. So what we're going to be doing is typing local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then what we can do is type ts colon teleport. And in here, what we can do is put in our place ID. So to get your place ID, you need to go to your game's uh, link. And then once you're on your game's page, at the top, there's a screenshot on your screen right now. You need to copy those numbers. And uh, don't copy any of the slashes, just the numbers, and paste them in here. I'm going to be using zeros as an example, but your numbers will go here. Then go ahead and make a comma. And then right here, we can put in our player instance. For this, just type the word player because we made a variable up here. The next thing we need to do is put in any teleport data if we have any. And uh, for most of you, there won't be any. And after that, a custom loading GUI. Uh, for this, uh, I will be making a separate video, so I'm going to go ahead and delete both of those. All we have is the place ID and the player. And once we've done that, the script will be fully functioning. What we can do is go ahead and close it off. Okay guys, I just discovered a bug. What we need to do right here is go ahead and paste this line again inside the teleport script and write false on this line. Basically what this will do is turn it off and then back on, basically allowing the code to actually function. And that's because sometimes when you change it on the client, or not sometimes, but all the time, when you change it on the client or from a local script, it's not gonna be seen on the server. And the server is gonna say, it's already true, so I won't actually run the code. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit play. And what, uh, what I'm gonna be doing is not clicking the yes button because it's not gonna work for me since I don't actually have a place ID in but it will work for you guys. And remember guys, teleport service always lags a little bit, so just remember to wait a few seconds and you should be teleported. Also, one more thing, teleport service does not work in Roblox Studio, you have to try it out in the actual game. So what I'm be doing here is clicking no, it goes away, I can pull it back up, click no, it goes away, pull it back up, and what I can do is click yes. Obviously, I'm gonna get an error because it says invalid place ID. Of course, I have a bunch of zeros as my place ID. For you, this will actually be your place ID. But after this, it will teleport you uh, as long as you're not in studio and you're in the actual game. But other than that, guys, if this video did help you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe just to let me know that it did work. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.